one of the most important things that you can do from within Populi is register for courses. Um, if course registration is open, you can get to that just from the alerts right here. You can click and it'll go to the registration tab. Um, other than that, you can also go to my profile and then to the registration tab. Um, then make sure on your registering that you pick which term you're registering for. Uh, you can look at the course schedule on our website to see what the upcoming terms are and what courses are offered in those terms. Now down here, um, it's only going to show you the courses that you're eligible to enroll in um, and they're not already full. Um, and then you can click on one of those courses. Let's say I wanted to enroll in this course. I can click this green plus I learn a little bit more about the course. Um, more details are also available on our website. And I can click add. Um, and then it'll say up here, this is very important. Submit your registration changes by clicking save. Um, so I have to click that in the upper right then, the save button. And this will take a little bit of time, just like the enrollment agreement does. Uh, then, so don't click away until you see it's up here now in the selected courses. Now, if the course hasn't already started, if it's a later term, or if it's still within two weeks since the ter term started, um, you can withdraw from the course yourself. You can get yourself out of that course. Um, and the way you would do that is just click on this uh, trash can icon on the far right of where the course name is listed. So I can do that here. Um, it'll ask me um, and I can click save. And again, don't click away until it's done um, doing that. And it's going to send you an email notification when you register for a course or when you withdraw yourself from a course. So now you can see that I don't have any courses selected in this term. Now, if you want to withdraw after two weeks, um, then you would need to contact us about that. This is because if you withdraw after that time, it'll show up on your transcript as a W. Um, that could affect your academic progress uh, for financial aid. Uh, so you want to be careful about that. Also want to look at a refund policy. If you want to withdraw after two weeks, uh, you can email support at cityvision.edu. Um, you could call student services at our contact number, or else you could fill out our course drop form. So let me show you the course drop form. Uh, you get to that through our website, and then you go under current students menu, you go to the forms, and you can do drop a course. Um, and there's some information there about the policies. Um, you can see more details. You fill out your name, the email, the course that you want to drop, the reason for which you're dropping it, and then click this uh, link uh, that just keeps automated submissions from going through and click submit. And then that's going to go on to our support. Um, team so they can review that. Um, bear in mind, uh, we are also tracking your activity in courses on submitting assignments and discussions. If you haven't done any of that within two weeks, we'll check back with you uh, just to confirm that our records are showing accurately. And then uh, we would need to uh, drop you from the course unless you had a legitimate reason uh, for why you haven't been active. Uh, and, and we approve that reason. And that's just a requirement of the US Department of Education to ensure that students are participating actively in courses. Just going back a minute here, I just wanted to show you, like you can go into a different term here and you can see these are the courses in which I'm still um, enrolled. Uh, so anyway, thanks uh, for watching.